Well, Marcus Freeman dropped a bomb today as the Irish start preparing for Georgia Tech. One of their best players, their captain, Benjamin Morrison, is out for the season with a hip injury that requires surgery. We bring in Eric Hansen of Inside Indy Sports. Eric, obviously, anytime you lose a starter, which Notre Dame has lost five of now this season, it's going to be impactful. But when he's a captain, when he's an All-American, when he's a potential first-round pick by Morrison, just how devastating is this for Marcus Freeman and the Irish defense, and how do you try and replace him? Well, it's a dilemma from quality and quantity mm -hmm. because they don't have a lot of alternatives at this point. Now, I think it's interesting at the beginning of the year, I was sitting down with Ben Morrison and he's like, you know, this freshman Leonard Moore is going to be better than me someday. Well, the day hasn't happened yet. He certainly played well. That's going to be his replacement. But you're talking now, you're starting a sophomore and a freshman, two really talented guys, and Mike Mickens gets them ready to play. Who's the next guy in? it's another freshman or you're moving your nickel out of position to play so they can't afford any more injuries there and even then you're going from an all-american to a very promising freshman and that's still a step down and when you talk about the next guys up we're talking looking at either carson hobbs or, or jordan clark i mean what do you think is more likely what's 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 the ideal if you could pick one well i think the tell was in the louisville game that they moved jordan clark over there yeah and they're trying to fast track Carson Hobbs now. You know, he had been training at the nickel, so he hadn't been playing a lot of outside corner. We saw about 15 snaps of him on Saturday, so we're starting to see him a little bit more. I think, again, he's on the front burner, so maybe this might be the threshold of the week where you say, yeah, we're, we're going to go with Carson Hobbs if there's a problem. And it's certainly never a good time to try and replace one of your best players, but the Irish have to do it this week on the road against a sneaky good team. You think that this Georgia Tech game is kind of a trap game for the Irish? I do, and I thought that in the preseason for a couple reasons. One is they had a really good offense last year, and they have all those guys back. Haynes King is their quarterback. He started his career at Texas A&M. He's the same quarterback that Stanford have, except kind of industrial strength. He does everything a little bit better. Their offense does that little bit, everything a little bit better. They have better running backs. They ran for 371 yards against North Carolina in their last game. And then defensively, that's where they were a problem last year. They were able to challenge teams with their offense and scare teams and maybe pull some upsets. Now they have an okay defense, and you're going from a Stanford defense that wasn't very good to a defense that has its moments. And then offensive line, they lead the country in few as sacks. So they have some good elements to their team. All right, and we'll see if the Irish are able to handle the challenges of Georgia Tech as well as the inherent challenges that come from the injury news that we learned about today. The Irish and Georgia Tech battle at 3.30 this Saturday. That game will be televised live on ESPN. Back to you.